An eerie, otherworldly sound is coming from the deepest and one of the scariest places on Earth, the Mariana Trench. First recorded in 2014, these sounds are so strange that they defied explanation for years. Dubbed bio-twang, these noises lasted only between two and three and a half seconds. Yet in that brief time, they managed to send chills down the spines of anyone who heard them. The weirdest theories popped up to explain them. Some said it could be the cry of a deep sea monster, a signal from extraterrestrial life, or something even more unsettling. But scientists think they have finally figured out the truth, and it has to do with wild sea creatures. At almost seven miles deep, the Mariana Trench is the darkest, most remote part of the Pacific Ocean. Only a handful of people have dared to venture down into its crushing depths, and it remains one of the most mysterious places on the planet. In 2014, when underwater gliders patrolling the trench for acoustic surveys picked up these strange noises, scientists knew they were onto something big. But they had no idea what. The noise can be divided into two distinct parts. It starts with a deep, rumbling sound that echoes through the depths. And then, a bizarre series of sharp, metallic clicks. That some have compared to the noises made by spaceships in Star Trek. Two years after the sound was first recorded, some scientists proposed the first real theory about it, saying that it was most likely a call from large baleen whales. But the sounds were just too strange, too different, and didn't match any known whale calls. Still, it was only a hypothesis, and without visual confirmation, it remained just that, a guess. Fast forward 10 years to 2024, and researchers at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration believe they've finally cracked the case. To get some initial answers, they knew they had to analyze their database, which had over 200,000 hours of ocean sound records. It's no easy task, though. With all the noise coming from boats, plants, marine animals, and the ocean's movement itself, figuring out underwater sounds can be pretty tricky. And we can say it is simply impossible to analyze it all manually. The solution was to create an artificial intelligence tool to investigate these recordings. This technique could help solve the mystery in a matter of months instead of years. Thankfully, this technology has succeeded and has been able to confirm that the culprit behind the deep metallic sounds is indeed whales. But actually, a different species. The culprits are bride's whales. Bride's whales are truly oceanic giants, weighing over 40 tons. They have long, slender, blue-gray bodies gliding through the water with stunning grace. These beauties can be found across the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. One thing we know is that bride's whales love warm waters. But hold on. Something doesn't quite add up. We can't really call the water in the Mariana Trench warm, since the temperature at the bottom only goes up to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what were these whales doing there? It seems that scientists have an answer to that. The data also showed a spike in bio-twang noises during 2016, when a rise in ocean temperatures caused by an El Nino event led to an increase in the number of bride's whales visiting the area. In 2021, on the contrary, there were almost no bio-twang records at all. And that makes sense, because it was a La Nina year when the waters were cooler than usual. So, yep, it makes sense that bride's whales were present in the Mariana Trench in the past, and more importantly, they were the ones making the bio-twang noises. The research spotted 10 of these whales near the Mariana Islands, and nine of them were producing these strange sounds. It was not all a huge coincidence. These massive creatures were, in fact, behind the bio-twang. 
But even with this discovery, more questions remain. Why are these whales making such odd noises in the first place? Specialists believe that it could be a form of communication, like a deep-sea version of the game Marco Polo. However, they still don't have enough information to say for sure. For now, the mystery behind the purpose of the biotwang lives on. On the bright side, the new tech they developed can now be used in tons of other studies. It's a game changer for figuring out whale and other sea creature populations and how they live and move around in Earth's mysterious oceans. And that can help us better protect these species. This isn't the first time strange sounds from the deep ocean and other remote places on Earth have left scientists scratching their heads. And unlike the noise from the Mariana Trench, we still haven't figured out all the answers to some of them. Take the Julia sound, for example. Which was recorded in the Equatorial Pacific Ocean back in 1999. It lasted for about two minutes and sounded like a long, low growl. For years, people went wild with theories to explain it, wondering if it might be some kind of sea creature we hadn't discovered yet. Turns out, it was probably a giant iceberg that ran aground near Antarctica. But no one's confirmed this theory with 100% certainty. And then there's the famous Siberian sounds. In the 1980s, a group of scientists drilling in Siberia supposedly recorded what they thought were screams and groans coming from deep inside the Earth. Sounds crazy, right? According to legend, the noises were so freaky that rumors started flying about someone drilling a portal to the underworld. Whether it's true or not, the idea of accidentally disturbing something ancient and creepy deep underground is still a spooky story that gives people chills today. Now, one of the most famous deep sea mysteries is the bloop. This noise was first recorded in 1997, and it got a lot of attention. It was so loud that it became one of the most powerful underwater sounds ever recorded. Since no known animal is capable of making a sound like that, some folks even speculated that it could be a massive sea monster, maybe even a giant squid. The bloop was picked up by a network of underwater microphones placed in the Pacific Ocean, and scientists now think it probably came from icequakes. Events that happen when large icebergs crack and break apart. Even though that explanation makes the most sense from the scientific point of view, the legend of the bloop being linked to some enormous and unknown sea creature still sticks with people. Another sound that's been confusing scientists for years is the upsweep. This weird sound has been echoing through the Pacific Ocean since 1991. It's made up of these long, sweeping whoops that go from low to high frequency over and over again. Some people say it sounds like a creepy ambulance siren, or maybe even a howl from some unknown creature. The crazy thing is that no one has been able to figure out exactly what causes it. And for some reason, it changes with the seasons, getting louder in the spring and fall. What is really strange about the upsweep phenomenon is that it doesn't have the usual tone variations you'd expect from something alive, like whales or other sea creatures. That's why some scientists think it might be tied to undersea volcanic activity. They're guessing the upsweep could be the sound of hot lava pouring into cold water. But even that hasn't been confirmed, so the mystery of the upsweep is still wide open, more than 30 years after it was first recorded. Next time you hear about eerie noises coming from the depths of the ocean, remember, it might not be extraterrestrial signals, but the truth could be even more fascinating. 
As technology gets better, so does our ability to record and analyze these deep sea sounds, slowly unraveling the mysteries hidden beneath the waves. But for every mystery we solve, it seems like new ones pop up. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.